Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are back doing mod sort. Uh, well, not quite mods. It's more like background stuff. It's not actually so much working with the mods. Basically, I wanted to show you guys how I go in and test my mods and stuff like that. But I figured before I do that, I might as well show you how I actually sort my mods. So this is something that's not as specific. It's not going to be like, oh, here's a mod you should try. Look into this. It's not going to be exactly that. I mean, I am going to be recommending you like CC creators and stuff because that's mostly what we're going to be going through today. But this is more just like a technique you guys can try. Mind you, we're different people. So what works for me might not work for you. I do this way and you might look at this and be like, God damn, that is crazy. What is wrong with you? And that's totally fine. You just don't have to do it my way. This is just a suggestion. So if you want to try it, you can. So I like to sort my mods through my bookmarks. This is my bookmarks page and this is my Sims folder. So I have a specific folder that's just for Sims and I put all of my Sims stuff in it. I have like save files here. I've got the tray importer. I've got um, James Turner's website so I can disable packs if I want, stuff like that, poses. And I also have stuff like CC to look at. So all the CC that I find online randomly and I just don't have time to look at it right now or I don't have time to download it, I put it in here and I'm like, I'll look at it later. It's, it's very big for Folder. There's a lot of stuff in there. Oh my god, my computer would die if I downloaded everything. Um, shaders, which I just started. So I'm not going to talk about shaders yet because I literally just started shaders like two days ago. So I have no grounds to speak on it. So don't ask me anything about shaders. I don't know. I watched two videos and then I just downloaded a bunch of shit and threw it in my game. So I, I don't know anything. Don't ask me. Um, but anyways, I have those. And then I have these clear folders. So the clear folders are actually my sorting system. So I like to keep things separated by when I do it. So that way I can always update it. And basically what I tend to do is I go through and check my CC whenever I need to update my mods. Whenever there's a patch that has come out, I go through and I check my mods, see if any of my mods need update. I update my, all my mods. And usually there's about like a month or two in between patches. So that gives you a decent amount of time for CC creators to have made something new in that time. So I also go through and check my CC. So you can see this is literally from March to June. So it was like a decent amount of time, but um, March was the last time that I did a whole lot of CC. So I had like all my CC in March, right? So the majority of my CC is still in that March folder because I just haven't sorted through everything. But I also have my June folder here, which is the most recent one I'd done. So this is all the stuff that is currently on my computer right now. It's not currently in my game because I'm getting ready to test CC, but it's on my computer, it's all downloaded. And then the clear September stuff is the stuff that I literally started moving today. So my mods, I just went through and updated last week. So my mods folder is all updated and it's in here. And then all of these items are things that came from my June folder. And these are just single items. So everything in here is just a single item that I've already used. Like I know I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to update it. I don't need to like check it or anything like that. I could just move it straight from June to September. I also have pages like this, where this is a page that I follow regularly. I keep up with regularly because I like Obscure Sims is by far one of my favorite CC creators. I love all their skin details. They're just one of the best. So on their page, I want to check it regularly. So what I do is I just scroll down and I check the dates and make sure that I get to a date that I've seen. So down here is May. Okay, I've seen stuff in May because my last update was in June. So I've seen everything up to June. So we've got May and then it jumps to July. So July, I haven't seen yet because I haven't gotten anything from Obscurus since June. So with these things, I went ahead and downloaded them. Like obviously I go through and I look and I see what I want and what I don't and I only download what I want to have. But this is Obscurus. I download like literally everything they make. So I downloaded it. <laughs> As you can see, they're right there. <laughs> There's also an update here where they had to update a bunch of skins for the werewolf pack for the werewolf patch. Since I have that, if I keep scrolling up, you see that I have the skins and it moves up to September. My current folder that I'm working on is clear for September. This stuff is September, but I can't interact with this because unfortunately I don't have the money to actually support these people yet. So I can't be a patron right now. Yeah, so I have to wait for these to go public before I can download them. So I'm gonna actually leave this one in the June folder because this is labeled as September. So if I move this to the September folder and then I come back like three Three months from now and I scroll down I'm gonna see this date and say that says September and I'm gonna be like oh I've already looked at that I don't need to worry about that even though I obviously don't get to see it right now so I'm gonna actually leave this one in the June folder and then move to the next one which happens to be this one Astia so for Astia 96 they make a lot of 
really cool stuff as well as you can see just from this picture um but their stuff is it seems to be mostly inspired by games or maybe not mostly but a lot of it is inspired by games specifically one that i notice a lot dead or alive which is a game i play sometimes they're not for me like you can download them because they're beautiful i mean look at them but i'm just i'm not really gonna use this stuff so for this i'm not even gonna bother like this was done in june so i already saw this anyways but um this one is july so everything above this i haven't seen yet like this set here i haven't seen yet there's this one i can check but basically i'm just gonna go up and check stuff so august this one's september i'm gonna check that one as well september september Okay, so you see this one is also locked. So this this one's a September, but it's still locked. So this one is going to stay in the June folder as well because I can't update it to September yet. All right, so now I'll go to the next one, which is Mood. Mood makes amazing alpha hairs. Definitely would recommend them. They make some of the prettiest hairs I've ever used. All right, so again, this person I can already see, their September stuff isn't clear yet. So I don't wanna use, I'm not gonna move this one either. Like see, they even have an August one that's not clear yet. All right, so I just go down and I get everything up till June. I think I've got everything now. That's July. That one's June. Yeah, okay. So I've got everything now. Again, this one I'm not going to move because there's not clear till September. Oh, this one's September too. I want to try to find you guys one that's clear, that's actually clear to September so I can show you. Oh, okay. This one. Here's one. <laughs> Here's one that is actually clear to September. Okay, thank God. For this one, you can see that their last post is a September one and it's actually clear <laughs> like I can see it I can choose it it's fine so I can go in and look so all this stuff I'll actually be able to move so I'm just gonna do the bit where I go down and see if I have everything that I want from this page so I'm basically just gonna go back down to June all right well now that I've finally shown you one that actually I can move so this one is up to September so I can move this into clear September it is officially done so I'm gonna go ahead and move this into that one basically that shows you how to sort okay that shows you the idea of sorting i don't move stuff until i'm positive that i've looked at everything i want up until that date and just keeping the date separate helps me know what stuff i've already downloaded and what i haven't so that way i can go back and check on it and that way if i want to take a break from downloading it's okay because all my stuff's still saved i know where i'm at i'm not gonna lose my place and be like oh god when which one did i stop on did i stop on plush did i stop on home? like couples me i don't know so like this helps me in that regard but yeah that's the basics of my sorting system i'm not sure how well this came across i'm i'm a little my brain's a little fried right now because i've tried to record like four videos today and every single one of them just did not turn out so i've done a lot of, i've been doing i've been dealing with a lot today and none of it's really worked the way i wanted it to but anyways i want to show you guys how to actually put this stuff in game now or like how or at least how i put it in game how i test it is okay so i've got my downloads file and then my mods folder open so in my mods i already mentioned in several videos that i have a sorting system for my mods but when i'm testing new cc i actually empty out all my other mods so like if you see here my presets and sliders there's none in there my tops nothing because like all this stuff i've already moved out i actually have this folder down here my hold my mods folder that's where all of this stuff moves to mm -hmm. and i just have i have the ready to use folder which is the exact same categories here just over here and like their number the same and everything it's just these ones are cap the ones that are in my game are capitalized and the ones that aren't in my game aren't just so that to help me keep them separate all my shoes are in here and when i'm ready to put them back in my game when i'm ready to use them I can just move them over. So I would just go into here, copy all of these, move them in, but or grab all these and then move them in. But um, we're not actually doing that right now. So what I'm going to do for now to actually test is I'm gonna grab all this stuff that we just downloaded. I would suggest keeping them small batches. I wouldn't grab like a whole bunch at once. Um, like right here, we've got 55 files. That's still quite a lot. Um, like if you're doing it from like one creator, you're usually okay because it's not that hard to figure out the difference. But if you're doing like a multiple creators, if you're doing like multiple different types of stuff, it's like if you're doing, or like if you're doing all one type of stuff, I mean, if you're doing like all hairs and you have like a hundred hair files, it's going to be hard to figure it out, especially if they don't label their hairs like on the actual cast thumbnail. So like if you're just looking at a hair and you're like, God, I don't know what hair this is. I don't know. Is this unicorn? Is this lollipop? Like, I don't know. Cause people like people name their hairs arbitrary things that you that have nothing to do with what the hair actually looks like. So, you know, it's, it can be difficult. So I would suggest keeping it small batches. Um, I think 50 is probably about where I'd cap it. Um, uh, maybe a little, like sometimes I go up to a hundred, 
if I'm feeling brave. I have a special folder in my mods folder that's called my new folder. And that's where I put new, T new CC to test it. So I'll just drag all this stuff in here. And once all that's in there, I like to test before I actually open it up. I like to open it it's in my sims 4 tray importer just to make sure there's no conflicts or anything because i don't want to like open the game and then be like oh this is so pretty i love it and then open my sims 4 tray importer and be like oh it actually conflicts with this other thing so you can't use it you know so rather than open it and fall in love with it immediately i'm just gonna like check it now so um uh, oh but i literally just i just checked this earlier that is someone i li i literally <laughs> Before I started this video, I opened Sims 4 Train Footer just to make sure that it wouldn't need up an update. And it said it didn't need an update, but now it's saying it does. Rude. Okay, whatever. We're not updating it for not for right now. But anyways, you go to tools and then find conflicts and then you just find it and it'll search your whole computer for CC and mods. I'm sure there's more stuff you can do to like personalize how it searches and stuff like that to make it go faster and smoother and whatnot but i don't know how to do that stuff so the only things that are showing up are conflicts with some mods that aren't what we downloaded today this is from something else that i need to figure out on my own later so i don't need to worry about that so that means all these things are good and should work together so we're gonna go ahead and open up the game and see how they look and we can go ahead and test them out and see if we want to keep them when i usually test mods, i do build by and cast separately so if i'm doing build by stuff i only do build by stuff so that way i can go i can load directly into a specific save file that I have that's just for testing built by but um, if I'm doing cast I just open a new save like we're doing today and I actually have a family on my gallery that I use for CC testing I use a base sim family where I just I made a bunch of base sims well I, I made the mom and the dad and then I just generated their kids but whatever I made them all base sims so I removed all their hair all their clothes all their like skin details everything like that so they are just totally blank and so since I have these guys I can just go in and test all my CC on them and CC testing is it's just it's really just throwing it on and see if you like it basically so um like for these ones this isn't particularly my thing because like these are really beautiful and everything but i like i prefer overlays so i won't actually use these so like this i know i'll take out of my game this one is has an overlay so i can actually use this so another thing that i do is I leave on CC that I'm going to get rid of, which sounds weird. It has to do with the Sims 4 tray importer because the Sims 4 tray importer, I can go back when I save a family, I can see all their CC that's on them and it'll link it to me. So if I put all the CC that I want to remove on the Sim and then save them, then when I close out the game, I can open my Sims 4 tray importer. I can open up that Sim in the Sims 4 tray importer and it'll give me a list of all the CC that's there. So then I can easily go through and pick it out and remove it. But also I try to pay attention to where things are so that way I can sort them properly once I'm done. So these ones I would count as skin details. Like they're, they're technically in the scar sections, but I just put them in skin details. Auburn! Hold on, my cat's crying. I gotta go find her and figure out what she's freaking out about. Hold on. I found her. She's fine. I don't know what she's crying for. Whatever. Um, anyways, this is where we're going to run into a little bit of a problem. So with this one, I'm actually going to write down these ones because I have multiple that I don't want here so I always keep a sticky note by me when I'm doing my CC testing just in case something like this comes up and I do need to write stuff down all right so I now have those written down so I know I want to remove all of those and since that's the case I'm just gonna leave those off so I don't get that weird uncanny valley thing when I'm looking at other stuff she's freaking out sorry <laughs> sorry for all the jingling she's gonna be she's she just got spayed last week and she's been like nothing but energetic and freaking out since so um yeah it's been <laughs> it's been interesting but um sorry about that so you will hear her jingling around for a while probably anyways we'll double check the chairs <laughs> we'll, we'll double check the hairs on him just to make sure we like him i didn't get any facial hair um let's all the CC. Okay. What? Oh my goodness, what? What? <laughs> Do you hear her? She's being so noisy. Oh my goodness. What's up, Bubba? You, you, nope, you don't even want me to touch you. Okay. She walked over like she wanted me to pet her, and then as soon as I reached down to touch her, she like eked away from my hand. Typical cat. So that takes me through all the CC that we used. So I'm going to go ahead and save this family so that I can actually check them on my thing. <laughs> I hate when this happens. 
<laughs> you open task manager because your program's not responding and then task manager doesn't respond. I hate it. It's like the worst thing in the world. Anyways, I can open up since for tray importer now. So now if I go in, I'm going to go to this button here, which is my library. And this will open up my actual Sims 4 library, my gallery library. And I have my new save here. See, these guys are from the video I was trying to do before that just did not work. Anyways, I go here, I go, I click on CC and it gives me an entire list of all the CC that I've used on these. This is great for when you want to share CC and stuff like that. It's something I've never done before because I didn't know about this at that point, but I definitely want to get into that once I actually get, like once I get my CC fully revamped and I start doing like gallery sweep and stuff like that, I will put up CC lists for you guys, or at least I want to eventually. But um, is this really awesome? Because you can just right click on this show containing folder it takes you directly to the item and you can just delete and it's gone and you don't have to worry about it. So you don't have to go through and dig through all the files and find it yourself. You can just rely on this. So that's why I save the household because this makes it so much easier to find the stuff I don't want and remove it. So now I've gone through and I deleted all of those. Um, and like you can go back and check this to make sure you got rid of everything by like clicking to another family and then going back to this family. And then everything that was on there, it should say not installed. That sort of makes sure that you've got rid of everything and you're good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort these things. So I will open up my ready to use folder that I showed you guys earlier. That's in, that's like not in my game. And then I'll open up my new folder. Oh, I had to get those skins actually real quick. Um, so it was cool. All right. And then I can delete all those. All right. So now I have everything set up the way I want. Um, so everything that's in this folder, I know I like, and I want to keep. So now I just sort it into these so that it's ready to go back into my game. So all of my skins will obviously go to skin details. And then my eyelashes were in accessories. So move them there. So I will leave those in there and I can revisit that later. But anyways, that takes care of all my mods. So now all my mods are sorted. Now everything that is in these are things that I want to use, things that I know I like, and they're ready to use in game. So when I want to put them back in my game, I just go in, grab everything, and then I just move it into the proper folder. But I'm not going to do that right now because I have more CC testing to do. But anyways, that's how that works. Um, I hope this hasn't been too confusing. I feel like I was sort of all over the place and I'm sorry for that. It's just like I... So, okay, okay, it is like 1030 at night right now. I started recording trying to figure out a different video at like 630. So I've been trying to record for like four hours straight. <laughs> So my brain's a little frazzled right now because I've been trying to deal with all those different issues because I was doing like a different, I was doing a different one where I was actually going to showcase a couple mods for you guys, but they weren't working. So, um, I had to try to figure out why they weren't working and like two of them I was able to fix, but then the other two I wanted to show just weren't working and I don't know why they might need like updating or something because they haven't been updated in like two months. And then I saw that there was a post on one of the pages that said that it was broken and the person was like yeah i'm waiting for patches to come out i mean i'm waiting for these fixes to get made before i go in and update so um i don't know if that was made if that post was made before or after the last update so you know it's confusing but yeah um you you guys probably didn't care about that i should probably just cut all that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was insightful to you i hope it wasn't too rambling um, and if you, if you like this system and you're interested in trying it, please let me know. Let me know if it actually makes sense to anybody but me, because that would be very comforting to know. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.